Hello everybody, it's Radio Cardin here and welcome to this new Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Market Watch. Today I want to talk about cards you should pick up before the release of Extreme Forces. And since we have the sneak peek this weekend, and we don't know yet what the new cards, uh, the new vendor cards are gonna be, I talk about that too. And more precisely, I want to talk about the archetypes that are gonna get supports in Extreme Forces and a couple of generic cards that will eventually get better. So let's start off with the with the star of the TCG, the archetype that is in on everybody's mouth, Vanguard. So while everybody is going crazy because we don't know yet what the new cards are gonna be, let's talk about the older card that you should definitely have in case this deck gets better and better and maybe someday competitive because remember as always the host G will give us an exclusive card on our exclusive archetypes like they did with Subterror and Spiral and Behay and so on so the first card I want to talk about is from God of the Duelist, so it's already quite old and it's Vanguard Reorigin, the Secret Brand. And it's sitting around 3 euros and the price as you can see here is already going up with a spike on the 20th, but fortunately when it's already down. So scrolling down here a little bit, we can find already a playset for just 2 euros 25 by Olibaba and Plenty of them actually six for the same price by JK Yu-Gi-Oh store. So you should buy it right now because it's it's cheap. And remember that this card, even though it's a drop card, and maybe we will get a card that searches vendred cards and not just Mosta, eventually this card will get even better because it's a non-destroying removal, even though it targets but it tributes, so not the strong removal, and it's always good. And also it's actually plus one because it summons a token on your side of the field. Even though it has a restriction that while you control this token, you can summon monsters except for Vendred monsters, it gains the same level of monster that you tributed. So it's already a tribute folder for your original summons, and who knows, maybe we will get a Link Vanguard Monster because actually the two rituals, um, Chimera and Slayer, have both an effect that triggers if it's sent from the, from the field to the graveyard. So it's, it works, so that works with Link Summoning. So who knows. The next card is Vanguard Chimera, Secret card again by Sacred Break this time. So this card, it's really powerful because it's a negation, and so it provides field control. And it's sitting around three euros, and it's slowly going down, as you can see here, with some spikes here and there. But I think that eventually, this card can be one of the most expensive ones of the, of the entire archetype, because of its fact even though the second one is not that good, of course. Uh, so scrolling down here, you can find already more than three copies by Lia for just three euros. But down here, you can find by Frank a playset for just three euros and fifty, and two playset for three euros fifty two by Best Art eighty three. Um, down here. Edikra has 7 copies of it, and Eman again for 3 years and 60, and Olibaba again for 3 years and 65. So yeah, it's a really common card to find here in the market, and you should definitely have it. I would suggest you to buy a playset, even though it won't be played as a free op, just in case, you know. Now, that's it for the Vendred Archetype. I don't want to talk about the other cards because they are mainly commons and supers. 
but there is also Houndlord Vendred that came out as an ultra rare because it was a sneak peek promo of Call of Duty lists. But it's sitting around 50 cents and 1 euros, so you can buy it easily. But I think that your friends or you find in your locals, it's a very common card to find because everybody that I've done the, the sneak peek has a copy of it. So it's, it, it's a very common card, you know. Now, that's it for Vendred, and let's go into the next archetype, Artegeist. Artegeist have received really, really strong cards in Primal Destruction, the, pack, the booster pack that just came out last week in the OCG. And we are getting new cards, a couple of new cards, a club card, and the best link monster of the archetype in Secret Break. And this deck will eventually get better and better, and also it's an anime archetype, so it will get a lot of spurts, like Trickster, for example. And the, its cards are really, really cheap, so you should definitely buy it. And also for you, if you want to play this archetype, or just for selling them, when they will get more expensive. So the quote-unquote straddles of the deck, Marionetta is sitting around 70 cents, but as you can see here, because of the OCG, the price is going up. Scrolling down here, you can find one copy for 70 cents by Olibaba, but if you want to place it, for 74 cents by the Tabernacle. And the next card, the next Artegeist card is Artegeist No Seek. It's another important card for the archetype because if it's sent to the graveyard from, from the field, it searches and it's also a pretty good removal and it's sitting around 74 cents too and it's, it's slowly going up in price. And you can find here for just around 70 cents too and the first playset is from the Tabernacle too for 74 cents. The next and last card of this archetype is Artegeist Prime Banshee, and keep in mind all three these card all these three cards are ultra rare and all came out in Secret Break. And the other cards are commons and super, so I I, I don't cover them, okay? So this card is in around 50 cents, but it's a linked free monster and it's really hard to make in the in the first stage of the game. Um so you need it, but not necessary as a playset. So you can find the first copy from a power seller is for a set, it is for twenty five cents, two of them, and TCG seller for just one copy for twenty five cents. And scrolling down here, you can find from even six copies of it for forty cents. The next archetype that I want to talk about is another anime archetype that it's not quite good yet, but will become eventually because not only is from the arc from the anime and in the anime is played by a really important character, and this archetype is Rocket of Bullets in the OCG. And the first card that I want to talk about is Magna Rocket Dragon, and is an ultra rare that came out in Circuit Break, and this is around 50 cents, and you can find here the first playset for just 36 cents by We Love to Collect, and Game Highland here as a playset for 37 cents, and Best Art 83 that we already seen before. It's 17 copies for just 38, year, 38 cents. And down here you can find 23 copies for just 45 cents by Epicra. And Olibaba just one copy for 45 cents. So um, it's a free off in the archetype because it's one of the best ones. And most non targeting, non destroying monster removal. You shouldn't ask more. Now let's jump into the next card that is Spirit Draw, 
and is a super rare and is like the quote unquote destiny draw of the archetype. You destroy um, a rocket from the field and draw a card. And it's a quick play spray card, so you can dodge the removal of your opponents. The Sinner Realm to Euros, and so it's quite cheap. And it's a super rare, keep in mind, so will eventually get more expensive. And you can find a playset for just 2 euros and 35 cents a piece by Gate of China. And you can find 9 copies for 2 euros and 40 by Biggie 1893. Down here, again, a Deep Rare and E Man 9595. Oh, and here is Terratos, a loader. But, oh, unfortunately, it has only one copy. Only one copy for 2 euros and 40. So yeah, down here, a lot of power cell I have it for 2 years and 50, more than 3 copies, yeah, that's good. Now the next card is also a quick play spell card, quick launch, and it's a non hard one per turn teleport of the archetype. And it's the most important card of the archetype right now, and it's sitting around 2 years. And you can find the first playset, five copies by Leia for just two euros. Down here, Get of Steiner again has just two copies for two euros and thirty-five. Bust Arc eighty-three has five copies for two euros and forty. And Terror Toast again this time has six copies of it for two euros and forty. Eman again, Edikra, Edikra again. Yeah, a lot of copies for almost the same price. So if you want to play this archetype or do some money in the future, maybe you can invest a little bit, just around 10 euros at most for this archetype. And yeah, chilling around with it. Because this archetype, if it gets better, remember its boss monster is Borderlord Dragon. Maybe this price will go up. A little bit or more than a bit now for the last part of this card market watch i want to talk about quote-unquote generic cards and the cards in particular that will eventually get better in with the release of extreme forces and it's grinder golem so even though it's a really paralyzing card you can you should have it because you, you know the the combos that these cards allow you to do and the price actually went down a little bit recently because the TCG put it to two and it will get reprint in the power code link structure deck but I made some up and I think that we will get that that uh, structure deck in May so it's quite far from here and remember that in Extreme Forces we are getting scolded and maybe they will import some cards like Security Dragon if not in the pack itself maybe in the special edition of Extreme Force that will come out in the early of March and also at the end of March we will get the Legendary Collection and since it's the pack of, the, of late March like Dusa last year and previously the Premium Wolves, probably we will get some promos from OCG, like they did with uh, Beatrice, for example, or a lot of quote unquote shitty cards of the Dusa in the 2017. So I think that you should have this card, and it's quite hard to find actually. And since its price went down a little bit, you should buy it right now before the release of Extreme Forces. So you can find the first playset for just 8 euros. And keep in mind, this is the super rare version by, oh, I, I won't pronounce this name, but yeah, it's professional and as a playset for just 8 euros. But down here from Alibaba, you can find just some copies for. Just one copy for eight for nine euros, and down here 
there are a lot of copies by power sellers. Carmen has two copies of it for 10 euros and TCG DJ for 10 euros too. But of course, there is the, um, the common copy too. And it's sitting around 10 euros and it's going up. I don't know why. Instead of the screwer, maybe because it's more recent, but I can know. Usually, <laughs> usually players go with the foil one, but yeah. There are not a lot of copies of it by power sellers, as you can see here. So yeah, you can take the risk. As I said in the last car market, you can take the risk and buy some copies for 10 euros by non-power sellers. But you can find here by Cards Mania two copies for 14 euros. I think that you should go with a super rare version that I just reviewed. Now, alongside with Brander Bottom, we should talk about Firewall Dragon. Now, Firewall Dragon, I don't think it will get it in the ban list. And anyway, if you're not playing Star Grail or War Chalice, whatever you call it, you shouldn't have. Or you shouldn't need more than one copy of Firewall Dragon. I know that eventually this card will get more print really soon, maybe in Legendary Collection too, because as always, Legendary Collections were print cards that are really important in the previous formats and that are really iconic. And since this this is a card from the anime, actually the Ace Monster of the protagonist. This card will eventually get reprinted in the Legendary Collection. And keep in mind that this card, Firewall Dragon, has already two reprints, two alternative artwork in the OCG. And so maybe we will get the, the red colored one in the Legendary Collection. So the price will go down again. But it's already sitting around 25 euros and it's going down, slowly going down. But I suggest you to add this card anyway, because it's really important. And with Grinder Golem and the release of Extreme Forces, maybe this card will get even more important. And of course, this is um, a card that you should add anyway, even if you're not playing link-based archetype. Because you never know, this card can become useful. Now scrolling down here, you can find a copy for 30 euros by Cerberus IT and card store Alcamo for 30 euro too. And the first playset, if you really really need a playset, for 31 piece by Spiel Round. And Olibaba has two copies for the same price. So yeah you can find this for a fair price in my opinion. And if you don't have it, you should buy it right now before the release of Extreme Forces, just in case we will get Security Dragon and all that combo stuff that the OCG already has. Now, as the last card, another really powerful Link Monster. And so far, in my opinion, it's the best Link Monster that we have right now. And it's Boreal Dragon. So Burlo Dragon is sitting around 25 euros and the price is slowly going up. And down here you can find four copies for 25 euros and 25 cents by the tabernacle again. Ten copies for 25 euros and 40 by Wiggy 1943. Demon again has a lot of copies for the same price. So Burlo is as important as Fireball Dragon, but it's a card that you don't need to add more than one copy. So if you don't have it yet, let me buy it. It's a really worth card and if you don't have it in, the, in your extra deck and your opponent summon it, you probably screwed. So it's really important to have it in the extra deck and believe me, it's worth the shot. Now, as I did last time, we will review the most important cards and most buy top items of the week. And actually most of them are the same. 
but at the first place here we can finally find the new structure there gable light for a euro simply second place for the desire produce proxy dragon alpha guys music is going up at the top solemn strike 2 and very matter again uh, ties of the brethren is uh, yeah it, it's it's a really important card it's really it's really powerful and has been reprinted in the structure deck so yeah um i bet that people are going are going around this card because it's cheap even though it's common and it's it's first reprint so it's important to have it just in case in the future and i mean we release a an archive like for example not bullets and you, yeah it's it's a really good generic card so the next card is the token again and last astrograph sorcerer oh, of course uh, followed by the spider and mrs radiant as you can see these top items are just quite the same from the last week with some spicy cards here like the Altergeist and Dice of the Brother. So that's it for today and I hope that you find it useful. And we will see what we will get in the in extreme forces. We will see the rarities this weekend and hopefully Konami shows us the new vampire cards that everybody's waiting for, me too. And so yeah, that's it. Um, leave a like. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and see you next time.